Good evening, everybody. Guess who? That's right. Yours truly, the one and only Warrior Man. That is my trademark entry right there. My snarl, my trademark snarl. What do you think? It works. It's awesome. It's unique. It's me. It's going to happen. I'm going to make that my trademark entry. And no, I did not have to train to know how to do it. Oh, it reminds me that when I put that audio file up, you won't believe this. When I put that audio file up, audio file, many, many, many months ago, dozens of people wrote me and asked me, Warrior, did you have to train to know how to do that snarl? Can you believe that? And they were serious. And people wonder why I lose my patience so easily. It's, you know, I am an incredible man. I really, really am. <laughs> Uh, hey, look, just a couple comments here. Uh, I, I wanted to stop in. This is going to be awesome to be able to just turn on my camera and stop in and have a quick chit-chat with you. A cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or like the gecko lizard says, an English muffin. What do you like, English muffin? Was that a good, was that a good uh, accent there? Did that work for you? No? Okay. Well, we'll work on that. Uh, do you know that commercial? The gecko, he's talking about what's so great about, uh, you know, so personable about the insurance company or their insurance agents. And they talk about, you know, get an English muffin with his jam on it. Oh, he, just, he rubs his little belly. Is that a good one or what? I think it is. Uh, I am uh, headed out of town for a few days. I'm on my way over to the UK for the Wrestle Slam event. Getting up early. We live a long way from the airport. So I just wanted to stop in and let you know that time ran out on me in getting those other video cast up. The uh, ones I mentioned in my first video cast, the Hannity and Combs piece I did a couple weeks after I appeared on there. The other video cast I did taking from the notes I'd kept while I was going in. Another video cast that I didn't mention in that first video cast. At the beginning of the year, I sat down and uh, in anticipation of you know launching this thing and doing these video casts, I sat down and cut a video cast on potential, human potential. At the beginning of the year, everybody makes New Year's resolutions. Of course, by this time, all of you have. <laughs> I was so disappointing. All of you have shamefully broken any New Year's resolution that you made. But, you know, I'm a guy that's in inspiration and motivation. Whether If I do it to others or I'm looking, always looking for it myself. And so I thought uh, with it being the first of the year and kicking this thing off, I would sit down and do that. You're going to enjoy that. I'll get it back up. But the challenge I've had over the last three days in working on that, almost around the clock, is that it's the same obstacle I had in the first video cast that I mentioned when I put it up, finding the perfect balance or finding a balance between the quality and the megabyte size and where to store it or archive it. Many of you sent me advice. I followed a lot of it. Some of it turned out to be dead ends by no fault of your own. And I appreciate everybody that sent me their advice. But I'm learning a lot of it by myself. My whole desktop on my computer is covered with all kinds of different saved formats of this raw file that I cut on this iMovie program on my Macintosh. So I got to get that all worked out. I mean, you know, the general theory on the internet is is that people uh, don't have an attention span. I agree with that, but that also that people want to quit fix. But my experience has been different than that. With my web presence, people like to see I just chewed on. They want me to see, you know, watch me chew all. <laughs> Even if I go over the deep end, they want to see me chew all the juice out of an idea. So, uh, you know, this first video cast was 39 minutes. The Hannity and Combs piece where I discussed those uh, perspectives I didn't get a chance to talk on the show and the other things I mentioned I brought up in it. Um, it runs at almost two hours. And the other stuff runs at, you know, 30, 40, 45 minutes. So I got to get it worked out. And figured out. Look, it, it's not mine to want to be a web designer. I think I've made that clear over time. Of course, I talked about my own disappointments and misfortunes dealing with the web designers when I had the regular site, not the blog, and how I stepped up and took that on. And, and that was fun and it was interesting up to a point. But I don't want to spend more time working behind the website in the back end dealing with the technical parts of it than I do just coming in and doing this so I can continue what I've always wanted to do. Uh, continue carrying on this long, this great conversation that we've been able to have in the 11 years Warrior Web has been around. So, if there's anybody out there that really, I mean, seriously, let me take the smile off my face. Seriously. If, there, <laughs> if there's anybody out there that really has 
uh, professional knowledge and high caliber skills at, at the in, in uh, let's say streaming video because I want to do the streaming video send me an email and let me know and I will set aside my cynicism and skepticism and I will give uh, I will give mankind another shot at proving it's <laughs> proving itself to me that it has not failed that the, 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 the world the bottom of the world has not fallen out altogether uh, I also need a transcriber I need somebody w again with professional transcription skills the reason why is the search engines don't work off the audio word they work off the text word on the you know it's got to be the text on the digital page the search engines don't pick up the words I say in the video through the audio so I need if there's anybody out there that has professional skills the court reporter and you have the ability to transcribe audio and you know at the end of it, remove all the, the pauses, the ums, and the, uh, you know, all the damage I, <laughs> damage I do to the English language. Uh, send me an email and I'll get back with you, okay? Um, a couple other things. Many people have written me about comments. Hey, Warrior, how come the site's not, the you know, blog's not doing the comments? The moderation thing is busted. It's not working. I'm not able to do it. Besides that, for those of you who are new here and have come around uh, because of the controversy that was created uh, by the Heath Ledger post I made, it was a Leather Hedger. God, I can't even remember any. I think it's Leather Hedger. Leather Hedger. That's got to work. That sounds like more like an inner. That sounds more like a uh, uh, a dead drug addict's name, Leather Hedger. That's it, Leather Hedger. God, I'm going to remember that. I'm making a mnemonic here that drug addict and Leather Hedger. Um, like leather, you take the leather thing, you tie it around your arm to shoot yourself up, those type of things. But uh, <clears throat> if you're coming around just new since that controversy, um, there are a few house rules you need to know. Or I'll just give you a couple. House rule number one. In my house, children and adults who behave like children uh, don't have freedom of speech. Get clear on that? No freedom of speech for children and adults who behave like children. No, no, uh-uh. That's it. We shut that down. And uh, house rule number two. I'm a real stickler for uh, spelling. And I'm really bothered in this instance um, that people who act like tough guys can't spell their damn cuss words right. I mean, is there anything more pathetic than that? I mean, tough guys can't spell their cuss words right? Ugh. That's worse. That is, that is so much worse than not even being able to find a capable web designer. It, that really, I mean, that makes the hair on my back, the thick hair on my back. I mean, we're getting ready to shave it, shear it for the coats for the winter, but it makes the hair on my back just stand straight out like porcupine hair. So those two house rules, you need to abide by those. Uh, otherwise, those of you who have written in support, you know how much I appreciate that you have. And please continue to do so because uh, I still, today, as I've done over the last 11 years, I'm the only one that reads all the emails. I'm the only one. Nobody else does, and I read every single one. But I don't have the time because of the volume of them, especially in these instances where controversy is set afire. <sighs> Uh, I don't have time to respond to everything. So, anyway, the last thing I want to tell you is, is that I have posted a link to a commentary I did a couple years ago. It's right below this video cast. Right down there. You see it? Do you see it? I, I'm, stop it already. Get your minds out. I'm pointing to the damn link. I am. The link right down there. It's to a commentary I wrote a couple years ago, and it's relevant to some things I'm going to get into as soon as I get back. It's time for me to unload on uh, <clears throat> those who call themselves conservatives but, uh, but truly aren't. And there's things going on right now in the media. If you follow what I've done and going on to do, you know when I, when I start talking about conservatism, how it's all tied into this post and what's going on in the media right now, what's going on in the news with Limbaugh and Hannity and some of the other higher profile talk show hosts being uh, 
at odds with John McCain being the nominee. And look, I don't want to paint the picture here, and I, but I don't want to get into a lot of detail either. I'm going to wait till I get back.